So the Healthy Ireland survey uh, interviews almost seven and a half thousand uh, people around the country. Um, so that's a really nationally population representative sample. So it would be really very valuable for us to tell us about the health of the nation and also what maybe people are thinking and feeling about their own health. Um, so we have a very high uptake rate from people. People respond positively to the survey. So we're very grateful to the public for the time and the input uh, that they give to the survey and their interest in it. So it gives us the fifth year of good quality data about a range of different lifestyle related risk factors and helps us to evaluate how well our policies are working and where our priorities need to be in terms of prevention. And it gives us a window into what are the so-called modifiable risk factors, the things we can change in our own individual lives that can sometimes impact the risk that we have of common chronic diseases like cancer and cardiovascular disease and can also impede our ability to engage fully in our own lives participating in our families as parents, as carers in our communities or whatever uh, is important to us. I think what it gives is a roadmap into where we want to be in, in, for the next survey and to, there's some great stuff in it and there's some, there's some stuff that we need to um, improve on as well and it's really about giving people the opportunity um, from very early age in life to being older in life, the opportunity that health and well-being is the most important thing in our life and how we deal on a daily basis with all of the issues that can come if we're not healthy inside. I really welcome the publication of the latest Healthy Ireland survey today. I think it gives lots of encouraging signs and also points to areas in which we have more work to do. I'm really encouraged to see the very significant reduction in the number of people smoking in Ireland. 165,000 fewer people smoking in our country now than only a few years ago. And also, importantly, seeing people cite plain packaging as one of the reasons they decided to actually give up smoking. So the policies that we're putting in place are having a real and practical difference and positive impact on the ground. I'm very concerned to see uh, the growing trend in relation to obesity. It's clear we have a lot more work to need, we need to do in this area and the whole Healthy Ireland agenda is really about that. From a legislative point of view though I believe we now need to go ahead with calorie posting legislation so we as citizens can be better informed about what we're eating and how to manage our calorie intake and I intend to bring forward legislation in that regard next year.